What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So I'm not really sure what to call this video today, um, but my goal is to go ahead and go through the entire process of power flow for GPU mining to start at the wall with something like a 240 volt uh, 30 amp plug, travel through the PDU here, from the PDU, travel through our C13 and C14 cable into our server power supply or an ATX power supply, and then finally end up at a GPU. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around here real quick. We're gonna show you guys from a top-down view on the table, and we're gonna go through everything, starting with plugging our PDU directly into the wall. Okay, so I thought first we'd show you guys um, exactly how this works here. So this is actually a L630P end is what this is technically. And it goes into the L630R plug here. Now, which way is it? Is it this way? Let's see, this is, this is no joke uh, from a homeowner perspective. Let's see, there we go. It's gotta go in perfectly. Uh, sorry about the bumpy ride there. So it goes in and then you can turn it and it locks. See, unlock, lock. And there we go, we're good to go. Now our PDU is plugged in. Now this is the Triplite P1230. Uh, we can kind of see it, yeah. Oh, we saw it for a second there, yep, right there. And it has a number of the, I believe these are the C14 plugs on this side as well as what is the most valuable to us, which is the back side here. Look at all these that we can utilize, which is awesome. The only downside about this PDU, which is I guess a double-edged sword, is the cable is 15 feet. And I really wish they sold a replacement that you could put in place because when my room is done, I'm only gonna need about three feet. Um, so I am probably gonna rewire this end here um, but with the guidance of an electrician. All right, let me swap my camera around, one sec. Okay, so this is kind of gonna be a little weird. Uh, I am flipped upside down here the way I'm looking at the camera, uh, but we'll make it work. I feel like it's all fancy smancy professional like Tech Shenji does it, um, just not as good a quality. So this is the PDU that we were talking about. My goal is to not give you guys a straight crotch shot uh, of myself this entire video. So we are gonna go ahead and utilize our slots on the back of the PDU here. Uh, now, if this is completely backwards, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I believe these uh, this, these go with the C14, and I believe this is C14, and this is C13. So most of you guys are used to what this is, which is a C13N, which comes off of our traditional power cable here that you would traditionally plug in to an ATX power supply. Nothing new, nothing crazy. In our situation here, we're gonna put those aside because we're dealing with 240 watt and we're dealing with this PDU, which is a, um, which is a uh, 240 volt 30 amp PDU. So we're gonna take our C14 plug and we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Okay, nice and secure, good to go. Now we have this red C13 plug that could go into the ATX power supply or in our situation here, we're gonna go ahead and plug, we'll put this right here. Let's get this cable out of the way here. Try to look like some fancy cable management. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and run into our HP power supply, okay? This is a 1200 watt when it is on 240 volt. When it is on 120, which is what most people are used to, it's only 900. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in here. Okay, so now this power supply is now live. So the power is gonna go from here into our red cable, from the red cable into the HP power supply. Our next step is we're gonna go directly into a breakout board. Now the breakout board has a number of PCI slots that'll power a boatload of different things. Uh, your GPU riser, it'll power your GPUs. In some cases, like the RevTech motherboard actually powers the RevTech motherboard. Uh, and then it does have a power button right here that you can hear uh, that we are gonna use. So this is gonna go ahead and interface. This actually has a female end on it. Oh, there we are. And then we have our male end right here. 
So these are going to interface together nice and easy. There we go. As you can see, they're now interfaced and good to go. We'll actually just put it right on top of each other. So now our PCI slots have power. So now our next spot step with GPU mining is we're going to go ahead and take a six pin, which is what you guys see here, and we're going to plug it into our board. Doesn't matter where. Any of the slots work. And as you guys can see, simple and easy, good to go. Now this cable is now live. It is a called a six plus two, which gives us eight pins total. You can just have a six pin and you can zip tie back the other one or if you need it, you can use the eight pin. We're gonna go ahead and take this cable, which is a Y splitter for a PCI uh, 18 gauge and it has an eight pin actually on the back here. So now we can go ahead and plug that in. So now we've taken our PCI lead and split it into two. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is this one has the same thing. On each end has the six plus two. So we're gonna take one of these and we're just gonna tie it back with a zip tie because I'm gonna be plugging that into my GPU riser. So my GPU riser only takes a six pin. Okay, so eight pin is gonna go into my GPU, which is a 1660 Ti, and my six pin is gonna go into my GPU riser. So I'll go ahead here. These come to us from GPRisers.com. They come in this nice anti-static bag. Wow, that took forever to try to get this out. There we go. And in here, We have our riser, our PCI adapter card, and our USB cable. So for our presentation today, we're not gonna use the USB cable or the uh, PCI adapter card, but we are gonna go ahead and use our riser. So the riser, sorry about that, the camera cut out there. So our GPU riser here is what we're gonna go ahead and use. This is the new GPU riser version from GPRisers.com. This one has the eight capacitors, the butterfly clip, as well as the gold uh, USB 3.0. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our six pin, which is from the one that we zip tied back into our riser. And then our next step is we're gonna go ahead and get our GPU. Our testing GPU here is the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Ti that we recently picked up. So we're gonna go ahead and now plug this directly into our riser. We're plugged in, we're good to go. And then we're gonna place it right here. And then we're gonna take our eight pin and we're gonna plug our eight pin directly into the card. And there we have it. So to recap on exactly what we have going on here from a power flow perspective, power is coming into our PDU. From the PDU, it's going to the C13 and C14 cable. From there, it's flowing into our HP power supply. From there, it's flowing into the um, breakout board. From the breakout board, it's flowing into our PCI cable. PCI cable, it's flowing into our uh, Y splitter. From there, it goes into the GPU and into the bottom of the card, as well as it goes from there into the eight pin. Now, in this scenario, if you have multiple power supplies for one of your rigs, just like I do, I end up powering up uh, each of the power supplies individually and uh, one, you know, one of these could power multiple GPUs. So in this case here, this has the power button. You can go ahead and press it and it will go ahead and power up your card and you're set and good to go. Well guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys learned something today and we helped out one person out there. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.